Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Hello everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to day five of the holiday card series for 2022. Today I'm using the Winter Seals Cling Stamp Set from Simus' Stamp, as well as the Ski Lodge Embossing Folder from Spellbinders. This embossing folder, while of a large size, like most of their embossing folders, are. This one is not a deeply etched 3D embossing folder. It's just a regular old embossing folder. So as I run it through using some black cardstock, this is pitch black cardstock from Hero Arts, um, I'm not going to have such a deep impression. I did spray both sides of the cardstock just to be safe, but I didn't have a super, super deep impression. Still very beautiful and it looks fantastic, but um, just not as deep as the embossing filters that I've used as of late. Now, because I did spray it, it's a little bit damp, so I'm just using the low setting on my heat tool to speed along the drying process. Now I'm using Gold Rush Lunar Paste from Simon Hurley. Simon was kind enough to send a big box of this over to me after I tried out his technique uh, doing this with an embossing folder. So big thank you to Simon. And I love this color. And I thought I would just kind of do it over the top, leave some of the black showing. But the more I started adding on and on to this black cardstock, the more I just loved that gold shade. And even though you can't really see much of the black peeking through, I think having a black base layer actually does help with the richness of this color. It's almost like a more deep gold tone than what you might have if I just use like a, a matte gold cardstock. It's a really, really interesting texture and it has this sheen to it that's really, really beautiful. So I set that aside to dry while I did my stamping. So I'm taking the foam pad out of my Misty stamping tool and I'm going to take the border and the interior piece out of this one seal from the Winter Seals stamp set and I'm going to place it on my white cardstock here. This is some Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound cardstock and I've transferred both of those stamps onto the door of my Misty and then I'm going to take out that interior piece and the border kind of moves around a little bit. It's not a huge deal. Um, and later it's going to be a big deal when I put the centerpiece back in, but at this point, not a huge deal. I thought it'd be kind of fun to have the outer border be a metallic gold and the interior of the seal be more colorful. So I'm stamping them separately. And that's, what's so brilliant about this stamp set. You can stamp all four of the borders for the seals separately from any of the interiors and you can mix and match them at, as whatever you want. So I stamped it in Versamark and I also x to the top of the cardstock because I want to remember um, where this paper was oriented in my Misty. I added some gilded embossing powder from Brutus Monroe and then hit that with my heat tool. So here's where this is really cool and you have to have the position just right. I'm going to put the center back inside that outer frame. Then I'm going to peel the outer frame up and now I'm only going to be stamping the interior of this seal design. Starting out with the color sea glass from Concord and Ninth and I'm going to stamp it down and it's going to go right in the center of that gold embossed border. So I have uh, just a kind of a base layer of sea glass now and I'm going to start adding some additional colors. I'm using peacock and I'm applying it to kind of the bottom half a little bit more than half of this circle design. And then I'm going to take a paper towel and soften that edge up at the top. I'm doing some multicolor stamping today. Um, I usually do this with rainbow colors, but I thought this would be really neat with like a, an aqua blue shade down to a, a deeper blue and then to a dark blue. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing a couple layers of peacock. And then now I'm going to use the color midnight and just add that in at the very bottom. You can see how cool that looks. And I just add a little more ink, soften it with the paper towel. And then I actually, um, I tried it with using brushes, but brushes kind of took away too much ink. Just adding a bunch of ink and then softening the line with a paper towel was the, was the perfect idea. 
I'm now going to use Tiny Birds Christmas stamp set from Simon Says Stamp to stamp my greeting. I've chosen the greeting uh, Warm Holiday Greetings for my greeting on my card today. And I'm going to stamp that right in the center of this dark navy piece of cardstock. This is actually midnight cardstock from Concord and Ninth. I'm prepping that with an anti-static powder tool and then stamping in Versamark ink. Now, when I go to stamp this down, I'm barely going to put any pressure on the door of my Misty. I've just learned over the years with those tiny word stamp sets that um, just barely let the stamp kiss the cardstock and you'll have a really good impression. I used more of that gilded embossing powder from Brutus Monroe and then hit that with my heat tool until it was smooth and melted. So I'm going to use a ruler and a craft knife to cut this out just really, really close right up next to the words. And as I cut with my craft knife, I'm using very light pressure and going over that multiple times. And this just, it makes me feel a little bit less uh, nervous about possibly cutting myself or having the knife slip and have it cut somewhere where I don't want it. Just using very light pressure seems to be the ticket for this. So I really advise you, especially if you get a little nervous using a craft knife, just go slow and use very little pressure and that'll... Uh, that'll work out really well. So I trimmed that out on both sides and then I used the nested circles die set from Simus' stamp to cut out this uh, seal design. Ran that through my die cutting machine and then I'm left with this circular design piece. So I did trim down the gold background so it was just slightly smaller than an A2 card and then I put some foam tape on the back of the background covering all those corners and edges, and then put it down onto a card front. This card front is that same white cardstock I used for the seal, except this is the 110 pound version. Put some foam tape on the back of that seal as well, and then put that directly on top of my card design. The last thing to do is to add my sentiment, and I did end up cutting the sentiment into three separate sections for each word. Put a little bit of foam adhesive on the back of each word and then use my tweezers to place that in that negative space on the design. So that is day five of the holiday card series for 2022. I think it turned out beautiful. I love that shimmer and shine on that gold background. I think it looks beautiful. So make sure you check out all the supplies that are listed down below in the video description. And I will be back on Wednesday with day six of the holiday card series. On screen, you've got all day sixes for previous years of the holiday card series. So feel free to click through those and check them all out. And just so you know, I have playlists for all of the holiday card series by year on my YouTube channel page. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.